In a crisis, we might be tempted to stay quiet until the situation is under control and we have sufficient information about what's going on. But, as public bodies, we need to be open, transparent and informative. When things seem chaotic, people want to know that someone is in charge. The first step is taking control of the communications. By doing this, you can reassure citizens that the government is responding actively. You can also give citizens practical advice about what to do immediately and, crucially, maintain law and order. This course has been developed to help you advance your knowledge of crisis communications, whether you have already dealt with a crisis or not. You will explore how to plan for and respond to a crisis. You will learn about how to improve your communications by building relationships both inside and outside of government. You will also learn about the importance of consistency of messaging and some of the strategies you can use to help you during a crisis. Throughout the course, you'll hear from communicators and experts from a variety of different departments in the UK government. They have all worked in communications during real crises. A crisis is when you start to lose control of the message and it has potential reputational issues or where the public may not be responding in the way that you anticipate. You're going to have to monitor the media more effectively, you might have to change roles within the team to cover all your bases, you're going to have to talk to people around the department much more than you normally would. It's important that we plan and prepare accordingly. Our communications team undertake various training to make sure when that incident does happen, they're ready. What you learn in this course will directly impact on citizens. Your crisis comm skills will not only reassure them, but will also keep them safe, and in many instances, even save lives.